Everton's bid for UEFA Cup place had been damaged by a run of one point from 18. 11 place Charlton have a top half finish as their last remaining target. Commentary by Alistair Mann. in many, many ways, but both have similar targets. Why? The pass, that's a good ball, first time, and a great header! <laughs> Terrific header, and Vaste celebrates his first Premiership goal. And the credit for the delivery has to go to Nakata. It means an awful lot to the young Bolton star, but he will thank the man who delivered it for him. Borghetti and Vazte went up. It was the latter that got it. Clearly, Borghetti was happy that Vazte got the final touch, and Sam Allardyce, most importantly, has his side a goal. And it's the first goal they've scored in more than four matches. Going up, that's Tay again! But he's a live wire. And Kirby's side haven't won in a Premiership game away from home since they beat Portsmouth in October. Bolton brimming with confidence despite a run of five defeats and a draw. Sorondo, meanwhile, penalised. Irene was close to that challenge. Usually awarded Bolton the free kick. Campos ball in was dangerous. Borghetti off the post again. Davis goal. Uriah Rennie looked to the assistant. The flag stayed down. It's 2 0. Have hands on their hips and hands on their heads. How was this allowed to go in? They wonder. It's ever so messy, but it's 2 0 nonetheless. It was a question if Davis was offside or Borghetti was offside. The flag didn't go up. It is 2 0. Hunt there in front of Ambrose. Hughes to Bent, who's had virtually no service so far. Romadal, the tackle by Gardner. The Carter, Davis, the Carter again. Is he fouled? Yes. Campo to Davis, lovely flick, Borghetti's onside, still Borghetti, number three. Well, it's threatening to be an embarrassment for Charlton. The Bolton fans are loving this. We're barely past the half hour mark. The flag stays down. Borghetti's onside. And he makes no mistake. Took his time. And buried it. Here's Campo. Borghetti on the far side. Wins the corner. Off Sorondo. Then takes up his position for Nakata's corner. Good header away by Fortune, reaches Capo! And the two palms of Myra enough to take the sting away and push it round. It 
was just close enough to the keeper for him to just beat it away. And that he did. Pastor, on to Davis. Breaks for Davis. And he couldn't quite get the power. And Myra gathered comfortably. Out of nothing, really. Just rolled off Faste. Suddenly in the clear. Couldn't get the power. Out comes Jaskalina, and he didn't really get there. And has the referee given a penalty? Or... Out comes Jaskalina. It is a penalty. For that challenge by Jaskalina in his attempt to punch the ball. He's comfortably struck, they have less than quarter of an hour, but they have themselves a foothold. 3-1 now. Gardner. Borghetti. Sorondo intervenes. He's lost it to Davis. 4 1. Well, Thomas Myra was probably responsible for Kevin Davis's goal in the first half. He's certainly responsible for Kevin Davis's goal in the second. And it's exactly the same scoreline as it was here at the Reebok last season. Every side I keep picking and changing around is producing good results now and good performances, and particularly today's, and I hope that carries on till the end of the season. Second half, we've done a little bit better, but that was because I introduced uh, two six-foot-odd players. I wish I'd started with them, you know, because I got it wrong first half. Let's look at the Barclays Premiership table. Chelsea need a point to retain the title and ensure they end the season with the trophy following today's FA Cup defeat. Tottenham have secured European qualification for the first time in six years with the derby draw at Arsenal, but whether they'll play in the Champions League or UEFA Cup remains to be seen. Wins for Newcastle and Bolton maintain their hopes of a place in Europe. West Bromwich Albion 100-1 to on to join Sunderland in the Championship next season. Albion need maximum points from their last two games to have any chance of avoiding relegation, and that will be for the second time in four seasons. Not a happy time for the second City clubs, uh, with Birmingham back in the relegation zone as a result of another win for informed Portsmouth over Sunderland. <laughs>